In this video, we are going to derive the expression for volume thermal expansion. The expression for volume thermal expansion is delta V equal to gamma V naught delta T. If you want to derive this equation, we are going to use the equation of linear thermal expansion. As we already know the equation for linear thermal expansion, delta L equal to alpha L naught delta T. Here, delta L is the change in length. Alpha is the linear thermal expansion coefficient. And L naught is the initial length where delta T is the change in temperature. If we expand this equation, this delta L becomes L minus L naught equal to alpha L naught delta T. I'm going to move this minus L naught to the right hand side by the the above equation will become L which is equal to L naught plus alpha L naught delta T. Here we have L naught is a common term as a common term. I am going to take this L naught as a common. Therefore, the above equation will become L which is equal to L naught multiplied by 1 plus alpha delta T. So, I am going to use this equation for deriving the volume thermal expansion. As we already know the formula for volume, the volume which is equal to length multiplied by width multiplied by height. So here the dimension for the length is L and the width dimension is L and the height dimension is L. So I am going to use this equation for derive this volume thermal expansion. I am going to write this equation in the next slide. Volume which is equal to length multiplied by length multiplied by length. So here I am going to use this L equation here. So we already derived the equation for L. So I am going to take this equation for our reference. So better I can write this equation here. L which is equal to L naught multiply by 1 plus alpha delta T. So now I am going to take this equation. I am going to substitute in this volume equation. Therefore, this equation will become V which is equal to L naught multiplied by 1 plus alpha delta T multiplied by L naught multiplied by 1 plus alpha delta T multiplied by L multiplied by 1 plus alpha delta T. And here we are going to multiply this equation. So we have 3 L naught which is in the multiplication. Therefore, L naught multiplied by L naught multiplied L naught which is equal to L naught Q. And here also we have 1 plus alpha delta T Q. So the left hand side of the equation is volume. As we already know the equation, as we already know the formula for A plus B the whole Q. So what's the formula? A plus B the whole Q is equal to A Q plus B Q plus 3 A square B plus 3 A B square. So here this one is our A term and here alpha L naught is our B term. So I'm going to substitute this formula here. So by that, the equation will become V, which is equal to L naught Q multiplied by A plus B, the whole Q. So here A refers to one, therefore one Q, which is equal to one, plus alpha Q multiplied by delta T Q plus 3 multiplied by a square, that is nothing but 1 square, multiplied by alpha delta t plus 3 multiplied by 1 multiplied by alpha q, sorry, alpha square delta t square. So this is our equation. 
And here, the change in temperature is already very small value. So whenever you just go for the higher term of this delta T, that will be very, very small. So delta T square, delta T cube, all are very, very small. So I'm going to take this delta T square and delta T cube as zero. So if we just took, because these are all less than one, so approximately this is equal to zero. So when you consider this delta T square and delta T cube is zero, these term will net but we, we can just uh, get rid of this term and also we can get rid of this term so by that our equation will become v which is equal to l not q multiplied by one cube is one plus three times of alpha delta t so here we have l not q so l not q is nothing but v naught so v naught which is equal to l naught multiplied by l naught multiplied by l naught therefore our v naught is exactly equal to l naught cube so what i'm going to do i'm going to place v naught here so by that the equation will become v which is equal to v naught multiplied by one plus three alpha delta t I'm going to take this equation to the next slide. V, which is equal to V naught multiplied by one plus three alpha delta T. If we multiply this V naught inside, the equation will become V, which is equal to V naught plus three alpha V naught delta T. Now I'm going to move this initial volume to the left hand side by that the above equation will become v minus v naught which is equal to three times of alpha multiplied by v naught delta t so here this term three multiplied by alpha is nothing but three times of linear thermal expansion coefficient so what i am going to do i am going to replace this three alpha as a gamma so gamma which is equal to three times of alpha so if you replace this three alpha as gamma the above equation will become v minus v naught which is equal to gamma v naught delta t so v minus v naught which is exactly equal to delta v therefore delta v which is equal to gamma v naught delta t so this is our expression for volume thermal expansion so in this way we can easily derive this equation so for getting this equation what i did i took the equation of linear thermal expansion equation if you like this video kindly subscribe my channel share your comments and share my links to your friends thank you